Ire village, Ogidi, in a Demili local government area of Anambra state, is along the Enugu Onicha Old Road. The flooding situation of the area dates back to 2009, when the road reconstructed and two man-made ponds were created to collect water that flows from about four neighboring communities. It was an engineering mistake that had wreaked havoc in Ire village every rainy season. This flood is causing a lot of things. If you, whatever you plant in your, in your land, it will remove it and it will do destroy houses. Even sometimes it, it kills so many people in our community. The state government, led by the Commissioner for Works on the order of Governor Willy Obiano, strives to resolve what has become a hard nut to crack for successive administrations. The left side of this road, the whole community has packed out because the water from Afigwe, Abatete, Omudioka, all of them comes to Eziowole, all of them converges because this is the lowest point. So it has been a problem for years. So I think uh, His Excellency had deemed it that uh, we go and find a solution. And thank God we have found an engineering solution to this. His Excellency said I won't continue like that. And this is one of the legacy projects His Excellency wants to leave behind because this has passed some administration. Today we are very happy that part of the due process, visitation of the tender board shows us that indeed there is progress. And we are very happy about that. From Ire village, Okidi, the inspection team moves to 100-foot road, Oragun Newi, where erosion has almost cut off the road and has sacked several families in that area. A very big gully separates the residents who before now can interchange access and visits to one another. The state government has done some palliative work, but the surge of flood is high. And while commending the state government for the intervention, the people appeal to the governor not to relent but complete the project. The visits of the state government to these sites are indeed a balm to the aching souls of the residents of Ireogidi and Oragunewi. And as the rains come in the deluge, they hope that the government will not delay to commence interventions to save them from losing their homes and their property.